Hi, welcome back. I'm Kathy. I'm Robin. And today it's about Oprah. Pizza day. It's pizza day. Oprah okay. has a line of food out now. Yeah, frozen food. Frozen. Yes. Nutritious frozen food. I think she partnered with Kraft. Yes. I've seen this in the stores and I've been looking at it. I was like, you know, cauliflower is all the rage. Cauliflower crust. And this is made with cauliflower. A third. Because this is what I was always wondering because I would a twist. The twist is the cauliflower. Yeah. I've always, I've looked at other cauliflower pizzas, but it seems like the carb count is still really high. I'm like, I don't think there was that many carbs in cauliflower. cauliflower. I realize there's some in the sauce. But it is a simple carb. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But. She knows. But after looking more into it, I think a lot of these are just to use some cauliflower. Like this is a third. Right. So it still of, has of the crust is made with cauliflower. Wheat flour. And what is it? It is wheat flour. I'm looking right here. No. <laughs> Enri enriched wheat flour. Yeah. Okay. So all right, we're gonna try it. Yeah. I've already I've already baked it this morning, got it, you know, pizza for breakfast, yes. Breakfast of champions. So we're gonna try it and then and we'll discuss because I have some issues. Mm. And you bake it like, just like any other, it looks like any other frozen pizza out there. Comes wrapped up, you know, like you can see here. Nothing special. It's just a frozen pizza. It's a frozen pizza. It was um, over on the back. So let's see. So I wonder how much say she had in this pizza. Or did Kraft just come to her and say, we have a pizza. We want to put your name on it. Well, she says she believes that everything's better when you share it. So she's partnered with a team of creative chefs to bring a delicious twist on some of her favorite comfort foods. So what else does she have? Um, there is some broccoli cheddar rice, some garlic mashed potatoes, original mashed potatoes. So it looks like a sour cream and chive mashed potatoes and then some soups. All right. For you. Thank you. So let's uh, so the crust. It looks like any other crust. Yeah. It looks like any other pizza. Yeah. This is called the classic crust, so it's not a thin. It's a little chewy. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of bread. A lot of bread. Uh, or, hmm. Go. Yeah. Go. So. It's good. Mm -hmm. I don't taste any cauliflower. No. I don't, I don't think, think you would. do. Mm -mm. Only a third in the whole crust, so. I mean, for me, it tastes very similar to other frozen pizzas that I've had, different brands that aren't cauliflower crust. Uh, I mean, if you're gonna eat frozen pizza, obviously, uh, I mean, this is compa very comparable in taste and flavor as to others that I've had. I'm not usually a huge fan of store-bought frozen pizzas, except for the cheap. And I'm a weirdo, but I like the really cheap. I like Totino's and that. I mean, really? like, mm-hmm. Mm. It's not, it's the sauce that these pizzas use that I don't like. It's like it's I would like sweeter. I don't like, can I say DiGiorno? Yeah. Like, I don't like DiGiorno. I don't like their sauce. Um, I mean, to be honest. I like Tombstone. I like those kind. The price of frozen pizzas today, you can go to you know, the LC. Yeah. And you get the one for $5. $5. Dollar. As long as it's hot, it tastes pretty good. Once it gets yeah, cold, I think yeah. it's garbage. No, but. right, right. I mean. But this was six forty nine. Okay. It depends on what your, what your goal is. If you're cutting out saturated fat, I think it would be good. Sure. It carbs. I'm so weird when it comes to carbs, so I just eat low carb. Which, like, yeah. I try to keep it under, you know, 25 a day, so. Yeah, right. I don't think I would spend it on this crust just to give me four grams of fiber. No, absolutely not. No, if you're, if, if, but it would be, I think be more of a, if you're gonna have a cheat meal, you wanna call it that, or a treat meal or whatever, and you want pizza, are you gonna? Uh, I'm going so. to the pizza place. No, I'm gonna cheat, I know. <laughs> so, I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna cheat. Right, so, but I think that's the only way you can, if you're eating, if you're eating low carb, you are not eating pizza on a daily basis. No, no. 
of any kind. Unless you're using a some type of low carb crust. Right. And, and I wouldn't consider this a low carb. Not that they're claiming they're that not promoting that. It they're is. not. No. no, they're not saying it's low carb at all. I'm just saying, me personally, when I look at pizzas, that's one thing I look at, and that's one thing I was excited about was the cauliflower mm -hmm. crust. Thinking, mm -hmm. oh, this will be great, and you're it, not going to have the carbs. Right. If it was 100% cauliflower crust, it, it probably would be right. lesser carbs because they would just have be some. simple. You're going to have some fried mm -hmm. sauce. But Green Giant is does have a cauliflower pizza crust. I have not found it yet. I think I saw one at Publix. Really? I think so. Well, we're gonna have to review that. Yeah, because yeah. Because I can see it not tasting as good. Right. Um, because you know, I've used the cauliflower rice and stuff and sure. it's good, but it's, oh, I like it's it. not. Yeah. It's not it's the not same rice. consistency, right. So the pizza's good, you know, for flavor. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a frozen pizza. Yeah. The price, it was, Publix had it six ninety nine. Kroger had it six forty nine. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go off on a rant for a second. If you have watched our channel at all, you know I'm. Um, <clears throat> please break for Kathy's rant. <laughs> so you may know I'm not a fan of Kroger. I will go there if they have certain items that I need, um, or if something's on sale that I, I really, you know, it's a really good price. I will go. So this morning I go, I am not of the fan of the, you have to, you buy five, you save X. No, I'm not. I don't want to sit there and count my items. This really made me mad when my kids were younger. I'm like, I have to count my cart and then everything's not in the ad. So you go through the store and you find something else that you can mix and match. You save, you save yeah. five if you buy these five items. Mm -hmm. And then you see something else that wasn't listed, and then you're like, oh, I need that. But then I had to buy, you know, four extra things to make my five. Anyway, it really irritates me. So I did that this morning. I thought for sure, just so happens, the items I was buying, there was five of them. I was pretty sure, okay? But when I got to the register, no, it did not ring up that way. I did. The sale price was $6.49, which I got it for that. But it should have been $5.49, because I should have got the five items, got the extra dollar off. Did not ring up that way. So I didn't have time to go back and look at each item to see if each one of them did have the sign. Because I thought there was a sign on each of them. So it makes me mad every time. And I say, I'm not going to come here anymore. I do it anymore. Just give me the price. I understand the market, the, the idea behind, okay, you got five, you got to go buy five items. I get it. <laughs> Instead of buying the four, you're going to go and buy the five. I get it. But it's annoying. And I don't like shopping there for that's one of several reasons I don't like shopping there. Okay. We now <laughs> return to our regularly scheduled program. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. it's a, it's a frozen pizza, right? It is. And I think uh, what's going to be the draw is they, that there's cauliflower on the front and Oprah's on the back, but you're going to see cauliflower on the front you're and think cauliflower, the, like you're eating a cauliflower yeah. crust. If you don't really look into it, Right. Um, so, because I did when I first saw cauliflower crust pizza, I was like, "Yeah, sweet!" And sweet, I had to like take one off, think I was going to buy excited. it, and then I looked, I'm like, "What?" Right. But I never understood why. But now I do. It's not all cauliflower. It's a, which I, it's a little bait and switch. And maybe that would be good for kids if you have a hard time getting them to eat vegetables. I think this would be good. Adding cauliflower. Adding yeah. cauliflower. Yeah. That would be good. They wouldn't notice it at all. Right. I'll give it a thumbs up because it's a it's yeah, a decent yeah. frozen yeah, pizza. It, yeah. It has great taste, great flavor. Um, but it's a frozen pizza. It's a pizza. So, you know. So, when I find the Green Giant, we'll try that cauliflower crust. If yeah. it's full cauliflower, I don't even know. I just saw it yeah. on an ad. So, well, if you have tried this or any of her other products, which I have not seen at the store. I have no. only seen the pizza. I think mm -hmm. the other products have been out for a while. I think the pizzas are fairly new. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. And if uh, you're not a fan of Kroger either, <laughs> I, mean, I think like fry. What are some of the other ones that... The, Part of Kroger is what fries and several Tom thumb under the, the yeah I don't know under the Kroger name anyway. So if any of you all <laughs> if you, you feel as passionate about Kroger as Kathy, um, just make, make me feel talk better. to Kathy. <laughs> Not have just some support kidding. that others feel my pain. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and the bell for notifications. Yes. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. I was mad. Damn it. Yeah, I can tell you were heated.